Virtual reality, or VR, can help scientists make sense of complex data. Cells are very complex three-dimensional structures. Could combining the two improve scientists' understanding of cell biology? Over the last several centuries, we have vastly improved technology to let us see a cell's inner workings. Initially, basic optical microscopes provided the first glimpses of tiny mechanisms. As we developed higher quality optics, along with methods of preparing and staining, we began to map out basic models of the cell. However, no type of radiation, whether light or anything on the electromagnetic spectrum, can probe structural details smaller than its own wavelength. Thus, the resolution of an optical microscope is limited by the wavelength of visible light. In practical terms, bacteria and mitochondria, which are about 0.5 micrometers or 500 nanometers wide, are generally the smallest objects whose shape can be clearly discerned in the light microscope. Since the 1940s, electron microscopes have allowed even greater resolution. An electron microscope uses a beam of accelerated electrons to illuminate a specimen. The wavelength of an electron can be up to 100,000 times shorter than that of visible light photons. So, electron microscopes have a higher resolution than light microscopes and can reveal the structure of smaller objects. However, electron microscopes operate in a very high vacuum, so they cannot view a specimen in a living, wet state. And because electrons have limited penetrating power, fixed tissue specimens have to be cut into extremely thin sections, about 1 200th the thickness of a single cell, before they are viewed. Newer techniques involve rapidly freezing a specimen to a very low temperature to more accurately preserve the state of its delicate aqueous biological system. Water and other components do not have time to rearrange themselves or crystallize into ice, therefore remaining more accurate to the cell's living state. Another refinement combines multiple images electronically to increase resolution. Views from different directions and slices from different depths can be combined to create three-dimensional reconstructions. Most recently, advanced microscopic systems are combining these techniques with modern computers to create a Swiss Army knife microscope that intelligently combines the advantages of various systems to produce accurate, three-dimensional images of a cell in action through time. Seeing all these elements in relation and in movement could allow scientists to more fully understand obscure or hidden molecular mechanisms. Taking that a step further, scientists hope to create a virtual reality experience of a cancer cell. This will allow a user to walk around on the cell's surface and even explore the inside of it. Looking at this data in VR could make it possible to gain new understanding through literally taking a different perspective. VR allows a user to move around in three-dimensional space, just as they would in the real world. They can peer around objects lurking behind other objects and see the spatial relationships of various elements. Just as seeing a scene in real life could provide clues not visible in a flat drawing, VR could lead scientists to new understanding about how cells work. To do this, electron microscopes have scanned layers of cancer cells and produced thousands of images. The next step is analyzing these images to segment features of interest. Segmentation simply means to outline the specific cell part. Manual segmentation by humans can take a really long time. While computers can do this to a degree, they are still prone to error. By outlining the noted subcellular structure, or organelles, in these images, you can speed the process tremendously. With enough volunteers, it may be possible to eventually train computers to segment automatically. All of this will help scientists better understand how cells work, and move us closer to better cancer therapies. Follow the links below the video to see how you can help. Like, follow, subscribe, and catch us next time to see how you, plus science, can help save the world.